the first day of the week, and the doors were locked where the disciples were. For fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. This is the story of the risen Jesus Christ visiting his disciples who were hiding and locking their doors for fear of the other people. Our lives are filled with anxiety and fear on a daily basis. So some philosophers define life as anxiety. There seems to be a slight difference between anxiety and fear. To me, anxiety is worrying for no good reason about something that hasn't happened, while fear is being scared because there is a clear object that is threatening them, like the disciples felt. To these anxious and fearful disciples, the risen Jesus Christ appears and speaks to them in you know, an empowering, sincere, and firm way about how they should live their lives in victory over their fears. The words of John chapter 20, verses 19 through 23, lead us to ask the question, how do we live a resurrection life? if we believe in the risen Jesus Christ. First, in the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verse 19 and 21, the risen Jesus Christ repeats twice, peace be with you. We should live a life of peace if we really believe in the risen Christ Jesus. The peace that the risen Jesus Christ speaks of is not a mere formal greeting, such as hello or shalom. It's the, it's the peace of promise rooted in the risen Christ Jesus. The peace that the Lord gives is a peace that drives our fear a peace of mind that comes from being forgiven, a peace that cannot be taken away by any adversity in this world. In the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse 33, Jesus promises like this, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace in this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. The risen Jesus' first words to his disciples, peace be with you, are the peace that removes fear. The risen Christ Jesus' second words to his disciples, peace be with you, is an assurance that gives them courage and hope. When you feel fear in your life, how do you overcome it? Think about it. When you feel fear in your daily life, how do you overcome? To us, we have God's word the Bible, to help us overcome the fears of life. Let me introduce some Bible verses that can help us overcome fear. I hope these words of promise of God will help us overcome our fears. Psalm chapter 34, verse 4. I saw the Lord and he answered me, he delivered me from all my fears. 
Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, will be with you wherever you go. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. In the New Testament, Romans chapter 5 verse 13, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So when you read the scripture, you can find more biblical verses that help you to overcome your own fears. This is from an old hymn, Far Away in the Depths of My Spirit. The refrain of this hymn is repeated as follows. Peace, peace, wonderful peace, coming down from the Father above. Sweep over my spirit forever. I pray in fathomless billows of love. The peace that comes from God is true peace. Second, the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verse 21. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. The word send in Greek is apostolos. Apostolos means one who is sent. You and I are the ones who are sent on Jesus commands as Aaron persons. The one who is sent should not do his or her own work. The one who is sent must do the work of the one who sent him or her. Amen? We who have resurrection faith must live a life of mission. The Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 18, as the Father has sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. You and I are on this earth because we have a purpose for living. Our purpose is to live to fulfill God's purpose, the purpose Jesus gave us. We are to live to fulfill God's mission. The purpose and mission statement of the church, do you happen to know? The purpose, of, the purpose and mission statement of the church is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, Verses 18 through 20. The core statement is this. We are here to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. This is the purpose why we exist as Bayside United Methodist Church. Are we are faithful to this purpose? Are we a disciple of Jesus Christ? We are sent to make a disciple of Jesus Christ through holy, sanctified, and mature faith. What does it look like to live a life of holiness, a life of maturity? 
and a life of sanctification as a mission and a goal. As I reflect how mature Christians should live, a mature Christian does things that are responsible and at the same time, they do not benefit for themselves in the eyes of others. Nevertheless, in the long, long run, the result of a mature Christian life is always be a blessed life. Amen. Third, the Gospel of John Chapter 20, verse 22 said, When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. As believers in the risen Jesus Christ, we are to live the life of the Holy Spirit. When God, the Creator, created human beings, there was a way God made humans. The gospel in the Old Testament, Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. God breathed into man the breath of life, God's breath. God's breath in Hebrew, Ruah, is the Holy Spirit. The, re the reason we are different from other animals is that we have the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, indwelling in us. So Christians are to live by the Spirit, with the Spirit, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. God is indwelling in your heart and in my heart through the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit always gives us the assurance of salvation. Romans chapter 8, verse 16, the Spirit himself bears witnesses with our spirit that we are God's children. For those, who, those of us who live by resurrection faith, the life promised to us by the risen Jesus Christ, is the life of peace, not of fear, skepticism, and doubt. It is the life of mission, full of dreams and vision. It is the life of the Holy Spirit active in us with the power of the risen Jesus Christ. Let us conquer fear with the life of peace, with the power of the risen Christ Jesus. Let us live a mature life of dreams and visions that fulfill God's purpose of mission. With the power of the risen Jesus Christ, let us live the life of the Holy Spirit that revitalizes our Bayside United Methodist Church. Amen.